Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss full counter propagation net with the help of a simple solved example. This is the solved example number 2. Link for other examples is given in the description below. This is the full counter propagation net given to us. X and Y are the input phase. X is equal to 0, 1, 1, 0 and Y is equal to 0, 1 in this case. We need to perform the phase 1 of training. And uh, we need to calculate the activations of the cluster layer units. In this case, Z1 and Z2 are the cluster layer units. We need to calculate the activations. Once you calculate the activations, we need to update the weights uh, with the help of uh, uh, alpha is equal to 0.2 and beta is equal to 0.3 learning rates. Also, uh, we have been given the initial weights. The weights between uh, input pair X and uh, Z is uh, phi is equal to, you can notice here, uh, between x and z1, we have the weights 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.5 and 0.5 here. That is what I have written in this column. Similarly, the weights between x uh, units and uh, z2 is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 0 0.7. That is what I have written in this uh, column. Similarly, the weight between uh, uh, input pair input to y and uh, z1 is uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Uh, that is written here. And the weight between uh, y and z2 is again 0 0.2, 0 0.2 here. That is what I have written here. Now, uh, we have been given the input pair. Uh, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance of uh, these input pair to the uh, cluster units. And then uh, based on the distance, we need to assign these input pair to one of the cluster units here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the Euclidean distance. To calculate the Euclidean distance, we use this formula. D1 is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 4. 4 because uh, uh, with respect to x inputs, we have 4 components. That's the reason 4 we have taken here. xi minus vi 1 bracket square plus summation of i k is equal to 1 to 2. Uh, 2 because there are 2 units are there with respect to y unit here. yk minus uh, wk1 bracket square in this case. Now, uh, we need to replace or we need to put the value of i and uh, k here. The first time it will become... Uh, x1 v minus v1 1 here x1 is how much 0 v1 1 is how much 0 0.7 in this case so that is what i have written here similarly it will become uh, x2 minus v21 x2 is 1 here and uh, v21 is equal to 0 0.7 that is what is written here similarly we have to write the remaining uh, all uh, you can say that the values and once you solve this uh, e equation you will get d1 is equal to 1.76 here with the same note, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance between the input pair to Z2 also. That is nothing but D2 is equal to summation of I is equal to 1 to 4 Xi minus Vi2 in this case because it is a second unit here plus uh, summation of K equals to 1 to 2 Yk minus Vk2 again here bracket square. Again, the value of I will be 1 in the first case. So, X1 minus V12. X1 is how much here? X1 is 0. V12 is equal to 0.5 here. That is what I have written. Similarly, we have to put all the possible values. And then uh, once you solve it, you will get D2 is equal to 1.76 here. Now, D1 is equal to 1.76 and D2 is equal to 1.76. Because both of them are same here, uh, the lowest index cluster number will win the uh, race here. In this case, uh, Z1 is the lower, lower index uh, cluster uh, node. So that's the reason uh, the input pair is assigned to Z1 here and J will become 1 in this case. Now, once uh, you calculate the cluster in it, next we need to update the weights with respect to that cluster in it. In this case, we have uh, assigned the input pair to Z1. So, we need to update the weights with respect to Z1 here. That is nothing but we need to update this column and then we need to update this column over here. Now, how to update uh, this weight? Uh, to update the weights, we need to use this equation. Vij new is equal to Vij old plus alpha uh, so within bracket uh, xi minus Vij old in this case. Now we need to re uh, put the values for i and j. Uh, j is equal to 1, uh, that is uh, known to us. Now the value of i will go from uh, 1 to 4 because uh, we have 4 components here. So i will go from 1 to 4. In the first iteration, i is equal to 1 here. So if I put j is equal to 1 and i is equal to 1, the equation looks something like this. To update the weights between y unit and z1, uh, we use this equation wkj new is equal to wkj old plus beta yk minus wkj old here. wkj is the weight between y unit and z1. 
beta is the learning rate, yk is uh, the input in this case. Now the value of uh, j is known to us that is equivalent to 1 and k will go from uh, 1 to 2 because there are two uh, units are there in y so k will take any value that is 1 and 2 here. So first I will put j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 in this equation. The equation looks something like this w11 new is equal to w11 old plus beta within bracket y1 minus w11 old here. Now what is this w11 old is it is present in this matrix over here or you can see over here also this is w11 old here. Beta is given here that is 0 0.30 uh, y1 is equal to 0 here and w11 old as said earlier this is 0.2. Once you solve this equation, you will get 0.14 as W11 new here. Similarly, we have to calculate W21 new. That is nothing but K will become 2 here and J is still 1 only. So, W21 new is equal to WKJ old. WKJ old is nothing but what? W21 old plus beta Y2 minus W21 old here. What is W21? W21 is nothing but this one that is 0 0.2 here. Or you can say that this point too. Any one you can say that is from uh, uh, the neural net or from the weight matrix. You can put the value here plus beta. Beta is how much again? 0.3. Y2 is equal to how much? Y2 is equal to 1 here. It is present over here also. W21 old is equal to 0.2. Now, once you solve this equation, you will get 0.44 here. Now, what we did is uh, we have assigned the uh, input pair to one of the cluster that is uh, Z1 in this case. We have calculated the updated weights uh, between X unit and uh, Z1 as well as we have calculated the updated weights between Y unit and Z1 here. Now we need to replace the old weights uh, with respect to the new weights. That is nothing but this column we need to replace and this column we need to replace with new weights here. Now once you replace these two columns with respect to new weights, they will look something like this. These are the updated weights uh, after an input pair is assigned to one of the cluster. That is, uh, first we have calculated the Euclidean distance between the input pair to these uh, cluster units. Based on the distance, we have assigned uh, these input pair to one of the cluster. After uh, assigning the input pair to one of the cluster, we have updated the weights here. So, these are the updated weights uh, between uh, X unit and the uh, cluster, as well as Y unit and uh, cluster unit in this case. So this is how the full counter propagation net works in uh, soft computing. This is the solved example number 2. The link for other examples is given in the description below. If you like the full counter propagation net video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.